Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, as promised, I'm going to go through how to set custom views in the new Aerosoft CRJ for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So for those of you who have seen the channel before, you will know of course that I did a tutorial showing you guys how to set custom views on the Fly-by-Wire A320neo. Um, and today I'm going to go through the same process, uh, but specifically for the CRJ700 series. Of course, uh, there's two aircraft in this package by Aerosoft, so if we want to set this custom view for the CRJ550, then we need to repeat the process again. But I'm going to go through step by step, and I'm going to set the custom views on this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you get on in the comments below, and of course, be sure to click subscribe. Uh, and if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up and a like as well. So, before I've booted the simulator um, and done anything with it at all, I have gone to um, I've gone to the location where I've installed Microsoft Flight Simulator and I've found my Aerosoft CRJ folder. Double click into it. Double click sim objects. Double click airplanes. And then because we're in the CRJ 700 uh, that we're doing this in, then we'd double click into here. Of course if we're doing the 550 we'd go into that folder instead. But we're in the CRJ 700 so we'll double click into that one. And we scroll down to the camera's config file which is here. Now this was set to 21 I point equals 21 and so on um, we simply minus 40 from it so that would be minus 61 and we go file save. We then come out of that and we go into the simulator so we boot the sim from fresh and uh, we spawn on stand somewhere. Of course today we're at the uh, awesome freeware Paderborn airport um, courtesy of Aerosoft releasing it for free and uh, this is where we're going to set up our views so into the flight deck of course we've changed the values so we're all the way back in the cabin and of course uh, Aerosoft have rendered the cabin in so we can have a good look around and we can pick kind of where we where we want to try and get our views um, there's an emergency exit with a wing we could go all the way to the back Let's see. I'm using my keybinds. Uh, I've got left and right arrow on my keyboard and um, holding the right click on my mouse. That looks like a pretty good one. So I'm going to go Control Alt 4 for that one. So I've saved that one as Control Alt 4. And uh, let's go and find another one, shall we? What other views could we get? bit of fiddly, uh, working that to the very rear seat at the back. Zoom out a little bit, we could go Control Alt 5. Let's get some forward wing views as well. And I want to get a door view as well, so when we lower the door we can see from the inside as well, I think that would look quite cool. So i Control Alt 4, Control Alt 5, let's have a little look at this wing view as well. Can't really see much here, of course, because we're looking out through the window. We could set something like that. Control Alt 6. Control Alt 0. Where's the galley? Here's the galley. There's the steps, so let's pull that right to the end. Oops, don't want to go outside the, the aeroplane. Let's zoom out like that, shall we? That's going to look quite cool, I think. Control Alt 9. There we go. So that's quite a cool little view for us. So we've got uh, 6 and 7 left to fill, which is good. And then we've got uh, 1, 2 and 3 to set. So we could set something like that. Control Alt 7. And then we can go back through the aeroplane, pop out the other side perhaps. And uh, we'll set like a little view that looks out over the fuselage uh, across the wing or something. Like so. There we go. 
so we can do that one as Control Alt Six. We've still got Control Eight to uh, try and configure. So basically, just have a little play. Um, of course, once you've done it, what you'll then need to do is go back into this aircraft config file. So I'm quite happy I've set what I want now. I'm going to go back into the aircraft config file and change that back to the correct value of minus 21. Don't change anything else in here. It's important to note. Resave it. And then we come out and uh, close the sim and reboot it. So we're back now. I've restarted the sim having put the aircraft config values back again. Added that 40 and saved it. And I've rebooted the sim entirely just to make sure this stays nice and clean. And uh, we're back at Paderborn, so uh, into the flight deck, and you can see already we're straight back into the front of the cockpit. Now if I click one of my keybinds, so uh, Alt-4 was one of them, you can see that actually we've gone a little bit out of kilter um, somewhat, and we're going to have to go through and just retweak. But this is normal, we've just got to reset some of these views basically, and um, because we've gone forwards um, by a value of 40 in that config file, we just have to go back and reset it as it was before. So um, it was that window there, I believe. There we go. And uh, we could just set that back to uh, Alt 4, like it was before. So Control Alt 4. Alt 5 was uh, the very rear window. So make a note of your, your keybinds that you've set for each view. So when you do reset the value, you can just go back and place the cameras back exactly where you initially placed them. Of course, if you just want to cheat um, and simplify it, cut out some of the extra work, you could just set one keybind in the cabin itself, one on each side, um, and then you could just reset the values and then build all your other values on top of that um, as another method. So this was Control alt 5 uh, let's see, Alt-6 was uh, over here somewhere, and you can see how far forward that's gone, that was actually above the wing, but we've changed the value plus 40, remember folks, so we'll just move that back. So, really easy way for you to set some custom views in the brand new Aerosoft CRJ. If you haven't already got the Aerosoft Paderborn um, freeware airport scenery, then I highly recommend it, it's really nice, um, although, you know, I haven't used it myself just yet. Certainly now with the CRJ though, I might be inclined to do so. Control Alt 6. Forwarding the door in the cockpit. And this is right about here, so down we go. Into the cabin. Try and centre it along the aisle, make it neat. Zoom out a little bit perhaps. And Control Alt 0. So. There we go. So that's how to set the custom camera views in the brand new Aerosoft CRJ. Of course, like I said at the start of the video today, if you want to do it with the 550 variant, then of course you'd have to go through the same process again, but using the camera config file inside that particular aircraft's folder. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Make sure you click like if you have, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe and join us as a frequent flyer. Check out my live stream schedule for live streams and uh, videos coming up in the very near future. And I hope to see you in a live chat very soon. Thanks for watching.